Water, a precious commodity and the importance of its availability cannot be overemphasized, especially here in Lusaka's Ngombe area where it is rationed at selected parts of the day. The residents here depend on these boho pumps for their daily water which is not usually treated. However, a local non-governmental organization called Keeper Zambia Foundation embarked on a solar water disinfection concept called SODIS in February this year to cater for the growing community of Ngombe. Ruth Mutimingi is the senior program manager for Keeper Zambia. She explained that research for the SODIS concept, which is funded by the Lions Club of Switzerland, was conducted in 1985 by the Swiss Institute of Environmental Science and Technology. She adds that the foundation decided to embark on this concept in Ngombe because the community here is prone to diarrheal diseases because they do not have adequate water supply. If you look at the water that they use, it's basically boreholes, river and streams and things like that. It's basically raw water. It's not treated in any way. And if you look at other ways of um, treating the water, say in Ngombe, people have tried to use boiling and you know there's a cost attached to it. If you're using electricity, it means your bill will be will keep on increasing because you're boiling water. And if you look at chlorine also, you, you need to have money at least to buy a bottle of chlorine. And also its application, if you look at chlorine, you, you cannot really leave it, for instance, in a children's uh, home or something. The, the child cannot really apply chlorine correctly. Abundant sunlight is one of the key elements that makes it easy for the SODIS concept to be implemented in Zambia and other countries around the world. Ms. Mutimingi explains that the SODIS concept is a cheaper and easier way of purifying drinking water. But if you look at the concept SODIS, even a children who is young, as young as five years old can actually apply the concept. You basically use the sun because of, uh, I mean, we have a lot of sun here in Zambia, especially this time, instead of people maybe complaining that there's too much sun around, we can actually utilize that sun to treat the water. So I asked her how the concept works. You just get water in a PET bottle container, like just ordinary containers like the ones we use, Manzi, the Manzi bottles here. Yeah. It's basically that bottle. You fill it almost three, three quarters of the bottle, then you shake it for a good 20 times or so. Then after you shake it, you just fill it to the top, then tighten the lid, and then you can put it where the sun is really direct for about six hours when the sun is really at its peak. If you put it at six hours, then after that the water is ready to drink. And we also learned that in just six hours, the sun's rays can heat up the water in the containers to up to 50 degrees Celsius, enough to kill any bacteria. When the bottles are exposed in the sun or to the sun, they depend on two components of the sun. That is um, the UVA radiation, which acts on, on the pathogens to, to kill them and also the uh, infra, infra radiation which helps to raise the temperature up to about um, uh, 50 to 60 degrees Celsius then that helps to kill the pathogens in the water. Uh, yes. Okay. And um, how many households have you targeted here? Uh, so far this year in the first phase we've targeted about 1,600 households. Mrs. Ruth Mundia is one of the SODIS beneficiaries. Her source of water is this well within her yard. She says the SODIS concept has made her life easier because it is a cheaper method of purifying her water. Before this project came on, I had to look for charcoal to boil my water. I had to look for chlorine. To, to treat my water. But now I'm finding it very easy because the sun is always there for me. So it has assisted me a lot. It's actually reducing the diarrhea diseases here because mostly we get the, the diseases through the water. Equally, Suzy Mbewe, another beneficiary whom we found on her way to fetch drinking water, explained that the concept is natural and easy to follow compared to using chlorine. 
She explained that before she learned about the sawdust concept, she used chlorine, which her children would add too much in their drinking water. It's easy, and then even comparing the taste with chlorine, it tastes good, and like the bitter taste that you'd feel, you taste in, in, the, um, in the chlorine water. Because this one, the sawdust one, sounds so natural. And then with the chlorine, the children would even tell me, no, Mama, there's too much chlorine here, it tastes bitter, especially if we draw it from the water tanks there, the towers. The water would sound would taste so bitter, but with the salt, it sounds so natural, they really enjoy it. And then I'm sure with this baby, she's been taking it, it has given a no, it has, she has no problem with it. Nice water. Good girl. And what's good for baby is good enough for mother.